If you just clicked on this video, chances are you've either heard of ClickFunnels or you're actually considering using it. If you don't know what ClickFunnels is, then leave. <laughs> no, just kidding. But is it something that you really need to be successful? Stay tuned and find out. So ClickFunnels is a sales page builder that helps businesses market, sell, and deliver their products online. Okay, I use ClickFunnels in all my businesses and I have made a lot of money with it. I won this fancy piece of plastic, also known as the Two Comma Club Award, for doing over a million dollars through one of my funnels. And I should have a couple more of these the next time that you see another ClickFunnels video. So now you might be thinking, Ben, you're a sales guy. You teach sales. Why are you talking about ClickFunnels? And this is why. Because if you are a sales professional, if you sell, okay, if your income is dependent on commission, shit, if you like money in general, you should be using a software like this. Why? Well, as salespeople, what do we depend on? What is the number one thing that salespeople need? Leads. Prospecting and leads are the lifeblood of your business, and if you don't have them, you can't close anyone and you can't make any money. I don't care if you're the best salesperson on earth. If you don't have anyone to sell to, you're not going to eat. Like literally, you'll starve. Now, what do we want even more than just a ton of leads? Because chances are, you've probably gone to a sales job and they've given you a list of leads to call and no one wants to talk to you. We don't want those kind of leads. We want people who are in the market, that know who we are, and they wanna to talk to us. Okay, the worst thing that can happen to us is actually not even talking to pissed off people that hang up right away. No, the worst thing is wasting your time with curious people, okay, or unqualified prospects. It sucks spending a half hour on the phone, 20 minutes, whatever, with someone who is just nosy. Because guess what? No matter how rich you are, what's the one thing you can't buy? Time. Last I checked at least, not even Jeff Bezos currently has enough money to buy back even one second of his time. Okay, so now you might be thinking, well Ben, I'm not a tech person. Here's some more good news. Neither am I. And I have made a ton of money using ClickFunnels and you can too. Because you can make the world's ugliest sales page and you can still generate leads and make money. You can outsource and use a site like Upwork, or you can use Funnel Rolodex, or you can use the templates that they already provide and just write your copy on it. You know, all of that really doesn't matter. The number one thing that matters the most is your offer. Okay, your funnel can look like your dog made it, and you can still make money because your funnel isn't what's going to create the demand. Okay, good offers create demand. A good offer turns desire into demand, always. Okay, when you have an irresistible offer, you can then use a software like ClickFunnels and within minutes, you can have a landing page, you can slap your offer on it and send traffic to it. And this doesn't matter the industry that you're in. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're selling something for $1 or $100,000 or if it's a Democrat or a Republican is the president. It doesn't matter the economy. Okay, being able to craft dopamine boosting Irresistible offers is the shortcut to wealth and all that you desire. Now the gurus might disagree with that, but they wanna sell you something. They want it to be overcomplicated so that you can buy their solution. But you don't need that. You just need to learn how to craft an offer that creates demand, and then you need to know how to close a deal. That's it. So how can you make sure your offer is bringing you a never-ending supply of customers that can pay you money? Okay, your offer, or as salespeople like to call it, their pitch, is not just what you sell. Okay, it's a combination of elements that consistently persuade your customers to buy. Okay, so first off, your offer needs to be simple. Okay, the brain likes to receive information in a simple, easy format. It loves simplicity. It loves I can understand it. It's not overly complicated. I get it. Okay, the minute that you start trying to talk like a rocket scientist and you're bogging people down with boring details, you're gonna lose them. Okay, so the formula for your offer is how to gain this without losing this. Okay, so fill in the blank. How to do this without doing this. Okay, how to 
generate qualified leads without ever leaving the comfort of your home, okay? How to generate a hot batch of leads before you've even put clothes on in the morning, okay? Humans love to gain something and they hate to lose something, okay? So your brain wants to make sure that there is gain without the pain. Now, the only other thing you need to worry about is putting your offer in front of the right audience because you can have the most amazing offer in the world, but if knowing is, no one is seeing it or hearing about it, congrats, you're broke. It doesn't matter, right? Okay, so an irresistible offer plus a targeted audience equals the sale. So ask yourself right now, what does my target audience look like? Okay, you need to know who your ideal customer avatar is, who you want to work with in that market, and that is actually ready to buy right now. Remember, there are riches in the niches. Okay, and what that means is that you are focusing on a very highly targeted subsection of a category. Okay, so let's break this down because this is important. The first thing you need to do is write down all the potential people who would benefit from buying your product or service. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that, that down even further into categories, okay? Then we will grade each category by who we will target first, who we will target, target second, and target last, okay? You get the idea, right? The worst thing that you can do for yourself is try to sell to the wrong people. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say for this example, I'll, I'll do lawn care, okay? Let's say that we own a lawn care company. So. Who would we sell our lawn care services to? So when we create our list, it would go something like this. People that own homes, they have lawns, schools, restaurants, banks, doctor's offices, commercial office spaces, athletic fields, okay? These are all people or businesses that could benefit from your lawn care services. So now that we have our list, we need to break this down even further with who is most likely to buy now. You wanna make money now, right? Okay. So we have two different types of categories. We have a B2B list and we have a B2C list. B2B is shorthand for business to business. It refers to sales you make to other businesses rather than to individual consumers. Sales to consumers are referred to as business consumer sales or B2C. So now, once you have classified your people as either B2B or B to C, you need to take a step back and figure out where can I make a more immediate profit from my lawn care service? Is it selling to B to C, like to homeowners? Or is it more so B to B, like the doctor's offices or the golf courses? So now that you know this, you can tailor all of your presentation, your marketing material, and your offer to what you pick, either B to C or B to B, because those two, they speak very different languages. And what you might say one-on-one -on -one to a homeowner, is entirely different than what you would say to a business. Now, where do all these people hang out? Social media. Everyone in the world is on social media, okay? You can find their favorite pages. You can find their favorite groups and you can join them. You can send them friend requests and you can engage with them on their posts, okay? Social media solves your traffic problems. You can get eyes on your offer within two seconds. And for all the salespeople out there that don't want to market, if you're refusing to market, you're gonna fall behind, okay? If you can control your own traffic and you can close a deal and sell, you control the gas pedal to your entire life. Okay, so recap. Number one is the offer. Number two is the targeted audience. And now number three, this is where ClickFunnels comes in your landing page so that you can capture your audience's contact information, the name, the phone number, the email. Number three, ClickFunnels, it saves you time and it saves you energy. It filters out the bad prospects and the people who are just curious. Because again, no matter how good of a salesperson or marketer you are, you are only shooting yourself in the foot, not using technology. Take advantage of it. You can't buy back time. And if your time is worth that much to you, you should be automating any time-wasting tasks, including collecting lead information. Leave it to ClickFunnels. Now, it's really this simple. If you wanna complicate it or be lazy, you can do that, go ahead. Or you can take the time to really nail down your offer, you can figure out who you need to sell to, and you can implement a lead capturing software like ClickFunnels. You can control your paycheck, 
and your time and you can make a ton of money in the process. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway was and if there's a topic that you want me to cover in my next video. I'll see you next time.